Welcome, this is Zond with Repro Products. This is Revit Tips and Tricks, tip number 15 and number 16. Tip number 15 is how to manage work sets within a linked Revit file and multiple instances of that linked file. Tip number 16 is how to set a view of the parts of an object by filter. If I head over to the plan view, you will notice I have several copies of a linked Revit file. This one's called building C, this one's called building E, this one's D, and so on. If I head over to the insert tab of the ribbon and go to the links panel and click manage links, you'll see that linked file is here. You can by default click manage work sets and open up the work sets dialog box and turn on or off or close any particular work set that you need. If you do it this way, for example, we set this and exterior as close, then what ends up happening is all of them, their behavior for the exterior wall work set will not be loaded. I'm going to undo this. And to undo this, unfortunately, the control Z uh, undo command doesn't work. So you actually have to go back to manage work sets and go back to that particular work set and open it back up. If you want, you can open up visibility graphics dialog box and you'll notice you have a Revit links tab. In here, you can click any one of the instances of the Revit linked file that you're working with to override custom for each one or you can click the top level uh, box to control all of them at one time. I'm going to go into building B and click custom and have it set to custom so it can be adjusted however I want in regards to linked view filters and so on. If you head over to the work sets tab however you can actually turn on or off a particular work set. So if I turn the interiors work set back on for that particular instance of building B you'll see that data. That is the Revit tips number 15. The tip number 16 has to do with looking at objects that have been divided into its parts. Here is a wall. If I select it and click the create parts command, it turns that into a set of parts. You have the ability to create a filter that looks at just the parts. And if I do this, I have the wall parts filter that I created. It's looking at the category of just parts and there's no filter rule set up. It's just a, a filter condition that I have set up that I can select and add to that filters tab within this particular view. And if I uncheck visibility, it will disappear. So it's a kind of an interesting way to use this tool to delete or actually hide the parts of the object by filter. And that's Rivet Tips 15 and 16.